it, theater program welcomes everybody, no matter who you are, where, what like, walks of life you've come from. And the, that's the great thing about our program is we're not competitive. We are encouragers that encourage each other and work with each other and to be the best we can. Hello, my name is Colin Ward and this is Kirkfield Drama Club, a retrospective documentary. Megan Powell, the Drama Club's advisor, has been working with this group for almost 16 years. When she started working at Kirksville, there was already a drama club before she came there, but she didn't know who ran it previously. The only reason I knew that there was some things, um, that there was a program here at one point in time is when I was in high school, I had some friends that were involved in some of the plays that they did here. So that was the only experience that I had with the program that was here prior to me starting here. In the spring of 2001, Megan decided to start the drama club back up after discovering there was already a fund set up for our drama club. There was a supplemental already out there for somebody to be the advisor, just no one had done it for several years. So I said, I'll do it. <laughs> there was no real negative feedback from starting the drama club back up, but there were a lot of unknowns. A lot of people in this area, especially at our school, didn't know a whole lot about theater. They right. didn't know, you know, well, what's it? A lot of people think that we stand on stage, sing and dance, and paint some cardboard and be done with it. They don't necessarily know what really goes into it until they actually come and see the production. And from there, um, we have always gotten a lot of positive feedback, not only from our school, but um, from our school board and from the community. So it was more of building that reputation. She started with Schoolhouse Rocks, which was based on the old TV cartoon, Schoolhouse Rocks. Then the club did, you're a good man, Charlie Brown. In 2005, she put on the play, The Odd Couple, which is about two mismatched roommates. It was the only play the club ever performed. At the start, there weren't very many people involved in the club, but it slowly started growing each year. Every spring, the drama club puts on a musical. In the fall, the drama club also puts on mystery dinner theaters, which aren't exactly like normal musicals. It's more along the lines of a murder mystery performed for an audience who are invited to help solve the mystery while they eat and watch the show. That actually all started out as a fundraiser. So we technically do two shows a year because we do the fundraiser in the fall as our mystery dinner theater. She has quoted that one of her favorite musicals we've done is Annie Get Your Gun, which is a show that holds a very special place in her heart. It was my very first musical. Um, when my mom was in high school, she was played Annie as a senior. And then I was in it as, um, as a third grader. And then I also was in it as a high school, as a senior, I played Annie. So it's always kind of been a special musical to me, to my family. All Shook Up, the story of a roustabout that turns a rinky-dink town's world upside down with the power of Elvis, is also one of her favorite shows the club has performed. It was absolutely, it just, the, it was the right cast at the right time. It was, everyone had the right role, right, right cast. The music was amazing. The cast was amazing. The crew was amazing. It just, it was, it, it was so hard to top that just because it was, it was just one of those perfect cast, perfect show type scenarios. She also laughingly admitted that one of the worst shows, in her opinion, the club has performed was High School Musical, the story of two kids from two different worlds falling in love through the theater. And it's not because that we did badly. The kids that were in it, did very well you know they're singing and they're acting and dancing and stuff it was i just don't like the storyline i just simply just do not like you know i can think there's lots of shows out there that the the actors did a wonderful job at it i just simply don't it's just like a book you either like it or you don't or a movie you like it or you don't each year the students also get to experience other productions by schools who shared the same love of theater as our school does once megan retires she plans to not just let the drama program die Instead, she said she'd like to keep it going for as long as she can. If there was nobody to take it, I would not let it die. I would keep going until I died or somebody else would take it over, <laughs> um, simply because I think it's such a great program. She also recently decided to hire an assistant, Abby, as her co-director to help her multitask and get more work done in a single practice. Um, Abby has been a blessing, a big blessing. She vol has volunteered her time. The school only gives us one supplemental, which I hope eventually turns into letting me have an assistant, a paid assistant, but she is volunteering her time because she does have passion for theater. I've had the honor of being a part of the Kirksville Drama Club for nine years. I took my final bow as part of this club on Saturday, April 1st, 2017. This drama club has such a rich history that I'm sure it will continue to be as strong as it is now, even years later, and will bring more students the same chances and opportunities that I had.